Yep. Behind us, behind us, behind us, behind us. Not following him through there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Deal with this guy behind yeah, us right here. Okay. Stop it. I'm by yourself. Sorry, a shot. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. That was behind, behind. Blanking, yeah, blanking, blanking, blanking. And attack. Nice. nice. In here, two in that bedroom. What? That room. Damn. Thanks, guys. Oh, this guy is just new. Probably. Oh, okay. Oh. Thank you. Nice. Nice. That was a double kill. What? Alright guys, so if you made it to the end of this video, you've stuck around to see this build, and let me tell you, I have had so much fun running this build. It absolutely shreds. Strikers, Preds, I face tanked them all. Pop Shotters, you name it, they all got melted. But without any further ado, let's jump right into it. As you can see, I am running five-piece Alpha Bridge with a Barrett's chest piece. I have a Vector and a House. I will go over the weapons first. On the vector, well, excuse me, on the house, I have deadly competent card counter and responsive at the bottom. Absolutely amazing. On the vector, I have unforgiving deadly responsive 
The only reason why I'm using the vector in the first place is because it has responsive at the bottom. On the Barrett's chest piece, it is rolled to firearms. I have skill haste health, increased kill XP, firearms health, firearms skill haste. On my backpack, I have it rolled to firearms. It's got crit damage and bleed resistance. And it has firearm skill haste, support healing speed, first aid self heal. You can do whatever you want with these mods, with the performance mods. It doesn't matter if, if you're going to be running a pulse and run pulse mods. I just put something there just so it'll be there. On the mask, mm -hmm. I've got it rolled to firearms, crit chance, kill XP. I wish I could have burn resistance there. And firearm skill haste. On the knee pads, they're rolled to stamina, crit hit damage, disrupt, bleed, and shock resistance. And I also have firearms health and first aid ally heal. Again, you could go whatever you want there. Even in even in the mod slot, if you want if you want to go skill haste, go skill haste. If you want more health because you don't have very much, then go more health. That's completely up to you. On the gloves, I have firearms. They're not even really a good pair of gloves. Um, firearms, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and SMG damage. I do think that you, you're going to need crit chance, crit damage, and SMG for sure. Um, but any, you know, firearms will, will do. On the holster, I have health and a support healing station. Okay. For the abilities, I run a booster shot and an immune box with a blue. For my talents, I run combat medic for the team, critical save, because you're going to need critical save because you're going to be low health a lot, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tell you, but that increased damage resistance by 20% is really nice and it's gotten me out of a couple jams. I run precision to pulse them for 10 seconds and I also run on the move which is really great too because when you when you completely knock them out you get a reduction of uh, income and damage by 15 percent which is also very very helpful okay so let's get into the numbers part of this build first I'm gonna go over the alpha bridge Okay, Alpha Bridge, you get a 100% health regen with the set 2 bonus, 5% weapon damage for the set 3 bonus. The set 4 bonus is your primary, if your primary and secondary weapon is of the same category, they share the free talent. All talent requirements are ignored for all weapon talents. What that means is, if you have two SMGs, two shotguns, two ARs, two LMGs, as long as they're the same, they're going to share that third spot. Also, it doesn't matter how min how much firearms you have, how much stamina, how much electronics, they're all going to be unlocked. Okay, so the fifth set bonus is 25% health regen and 10% weapon damage. With the Barretts, when no skills are on cooldown, it increases your skill power by 5%. When one skill is on cooldown, it increases damage by 5%. And two sk skills are on cooldown, and it increases your armor by 10%. Which is, when both skills are, are down, that 10% that of armor actually helps. With, with the 15% from on the move, and you know if you critical save, that's another 20%. That it helps in the long run. Okay, so I'm going to get into the numbers now. As you can see, I'm running 8,800 firearms, 4,100 stamina, and 2,900 electronics. The reason why the skill power is like that is because of the Barrett's. You start out with 10% more skill power uh, just right off rip because no skills are on cooldown. Okay, so now let's, let's really look at what damage I'm doing right off rip. So... Just from the five piece alpha bridge, I get a fifteen percent extra weapon damage. Also with the Barretts, I get a five percent weapon damage. As you've seen before as well, I'm running a booster shot. The booster shot gives you fifteen percent weapon damage. So once I hit that booster shot, that's fifteen percent extra weapon damage just from that. On my house 
which by the way I only use my house I don't switch to the vector on the house I run competent and responsive and so when I use that booster shot that activates competent which that means that translates that 10 that 15 into 25 percent and I'm always normally in responsive range that's another 10 percent so one more time just so you guys can see it it's 15 percent from the alpha bridge 5 percent from the barretts 15 percent from the booster 10 percent from competent 10 percent from responsive and 20 percent from the card counter which I understand it's only half of your magazine but I'm, I'm doing this in a perfect world situation where you start out you hit your booster you're in the right part of your magazine that's another 20 extra percent and that that's pretty much it for this for this build guys I hope you guys enjoyed the clips that I shared I hope you guys tried this build out um, test it out let me know what you think in the comment section if you guys are new to this channel hit that subscribe button hit that like I'm, I'm going to be putting more more build videos out there, more gameplay, more, more, more. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. So let me know what you guys think, and until next time, I'm out.